Uh, you want to delete? You select first, select first, and you press delete. That's all. Okay. Uh, sorry, I don't want you to delete. Uh. Can you bring it back? So you can do undo. Uh. You do some mistake, you get undo back. Undo is control Z. Press control and Z. Okay. So, uh, come back this one again. So you have this object. So you can resize the object now. Your mouse over. You see the icon become this uh, triangle here. Not triangle, the arrow. Okay. You hold down the mouse. You can drag up. Okay. You can scale it down. Scale big. Scale small. Everywhere you want. Okay. But sometimes, if this is a logo, right, you can't just skew like this, you know. Because if you out of uh, proportions, well, the ratio will gone. Okay, so if you have something that basically this is the ratio you want, you have to remain the original proportion ratio. What you do, you mouse over here, okay, you hold down the mouse, but you don't move first, huh? you hold down the mouse, you don't move. You hold down the mouse and you hold down your shift key. Shift, hold down, hold down. Don't just press, huh? hold down. And then you just drag. See? You remain the original ratio. Okay, the technique is you have to release which one first? You have to release your mouse first. Only you release your shift key. Release your mouse first, only you release your shift key. So, do you see, notice that what I do just now, I move my paper here. Just now, my, my paper is uh, around this position here, right? Okay, how to move your paper of your artboard? Huh? In the, if you're using Microsoft or Word or Excel, you always use this one, right? The bar here, right? But in the design world, we always use uh, hands to move your paper, like how you use your finger to move your paper. Okay, so you have to use your hand to grab this paper. The shortcut way you'll be holding down your space bar, holding down your space bar. So you see, there's a hand coming out, and grab. How you haven't grabbed yet? You hold down the space bar is a hand. You hold down your mouse now is a grab. So you move. This is how you move your unbox. It's very important skill to make your process faster. Okay. So another uh, view option is you have to zoom in and zoom out all the times. Okay. So zoom in, zoom out, of course there's a very traditional way, you go to view and you go to zoom in and zoom out, but we don't use this kind of waste of time methods. Lah. Use your shortcut key, control plus, hold down control and then keep pressing the plus and press your uh, minus beside zero. Eh? Plus and minus. So this is how you zoom in and zoom out. Okay. And sometimes you want to zoom and view this paper in 100%. Okay. You can see now my view is 50%. Okay, this 50% view here. I think you can see from here or here, 50%. So I want to zoom in and view in 100% for my uh, paper here. Control 1. You press Control 1, you view in 100%. This is uh, actual view and the quality of your print result in 100%. So, 
I will explain more in uh, Photoshop about this uh, 100% view is how important it is. Okay? Okay, now, sometimes uh, my paper off, maybe gone, uh, gone from my view. I can't, I, I, I don't know where is my purple gone. Sometimes you feel this problem as well later. Okay? Something like this. My paper, eh? Totally off from my view, you see? Mr. Nang, where is my paper? I cannot search my paper, la. it's gone. La. I drag and drag, also cannot view. So, it's totally gone from your view now, the paper. So, what you do, you can show the whole paper in front of you by pressing Ctrl 0. If the paper is gone from your view, but now it's in front of you, of course, nothing will change, right? Okay? Control zero is showing the whole paper in front of you. 